going on guys it's brian from men's comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video i'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out wednesday December 5th 2018 a lot of great titles coming out so let's go ahead and get into this video we kick off the week with adventures of the super sons number five after space avengers of the past few issues john and damien take what they think is a peaceful diversion to what winds up being a miracle machine planet there they get a look at their potential future selves including a surprising preview of parenthood batman number 60 in this issue batman teams up with the penguin there's gonna be a regular cover and a regular price variant by francisco matina i of course like the matina cover for this deathstroke number 38 Slade continues his incarceration at Arkham Asylum, as well as his daughter Rose Wilson gets kidnapped. We have a regular cover by Tyler Kirkham. There's also a regular price variant by Francisco Matina. I like the Matina cover, but I do like the Kirkham as well, so I'm probably going to pick up both covers on this. Doomsday Clock number 8. Now I know these issues have been slow to hit shelves, but anything written by Jeff Johns and art by Gary Frank, I'll continue to pick up. This has a regular and a regular price variant, both by Gary Frank. Green Lantern number two. Someone's transporting a mysterious cargo out of the Great Void, and it spells trouble for the universe at large. Hal Jordan interrogates a member of the Spider Guild for answers and uses his pheromones as an interrogation tool. We have a regular cover by Liam Sharp. There's also a regular price variant by Francesco Matina. I'll be going with the Matina, although it's not his best work on cover art. I still like it better than regular cover, so I'll be picking that up. Harley Quinn number 55. This is a Harley Holiday special issue. It's got a regular cover by Gail March and a regular price variant by Frank Cho. Normally I go with the Cho variants, but I'm a sucker for Christmas and I love the Santa Claus cover, so I'll be going with the Gilliam March. Injustice vs. the Masters of the Universe number 5. Betrayed by Skeletor and fearing the power Darkseid gained in his attack on Castle Grayskull, Superman takes up his arms with his old compatriots, but will their combined might be enough to win a battle against a foe armed with the anti-life equation? Justice League number 13. This issue is going to tie in the connection between Justice League and the new Batman That Laughs miniseries that's coming from Scott Snyder and Jock. There's a regular Gil and March cover. There's also a regular price Jay Lee variant. I like the regular cover for this. Martian Manhunter number one. This has writer Steve Orlando giving a whole new origin to John Johns as the Martian Manhunter. It's gonna be three different covers for it. There's a regular Riley Rossmo cover, regular priced John Middleton variant, and a regular priced blank variant. I'm gonna go with the Middleton variant. Nightwing number 54. Dick Grayson has given up his vigilante persona in favor of a normal existence. He's got a new job, new friends, New life, but all are compromised when a safe house full of old Nightwing gear falls into the wrong hands. There's a regular cover by Chris Mooneyham. There's also a regular price variant by Yasmin Putri. Normally, hands down, I go with the Putri cover, but I love this Mooneyham regular cover. In fact, I love it so much, I'm going to make it my pick of the week. Red Hood Outlaw number 29. This issue has Jason Todd teaming up with Batwoman. There's going to be a regular Pete Woods cover and a regular price Yasmin Putri cover. I like the variant cover for this. Shazam number one this is a new monthly ongoing from DC. It's going to be written by Jeff Johns, art by Dale Eaglesham. There's going to be three different covers for it. There's a regular Dale Eaglesham cover, regular price Gary Frank variant, and a regular price blank variant. Suicide Squad Black Files number two. Trapped inside her Soul Taker sword, the Sola Katana is torn between staying with her murdered husband or rejoining the world of the living. Meanwhile, Cobra's Queen Eve makes a nefarious use of Katana's body as she infiltrates the Suicide Squad. Batman the Max Arkham Dreams number three. This is again three different covers. This is a regular Sam Keith cover, a regular priced variant Sam Keith cover, and an incentive Gabriel Rodriguez variant. Blackbird number three. Nina thought magic was just cool spells and hot guys, but magic turned out to be so much more. There's gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular Jim Bartel cover. Regular price Loish variant, and then a regular price Amanda Shank Hero Initiative variant. I personally like the Loish cover, so that's the one I'm gonna be picking up. Crowded number five. Things go from bad to oh crap as the Reaper shaped net of bad hitmen and desperate civilians begins to close around Charlie and Beta. We have a regular Rose Stein and Ted Brandt cover. There's also a regular price Paulina Ganeshu. Ganeshu. God bless you. Variant. 
die number one. This is a pitch black fantasy where a group of 40 something adults have to deal with the returning unearthly horror they barely survived as teenage role players. There's a regular Stephanie Hans cover. There's also a regular price Jamie McKelvey variant. Prodigy number one. This comes from Mark Millar. Edison Crane's not content being the world's smartest man and most successful businessman. His brilliant mind needs to be constantly challenged. He's a Nobel Prize winning scientist, genius composer, Olympic athlete, an expert in the occult, and now international governments are calling on him to fix problems they just can't handle. A bunch of different covers for this. There's a regular Raphael Albuquerque cover, regular price Raphael Albuquerque sketch cover, three regular price Raphael Albuquerque interconnecting variants, a regular price Frank Quitely variant, regular price blank variant, and a regular price Raphael Albuquerque virgin variant. Self-made number one. This is a new series from Image Comics. When chaos besieges the kingdom of Arcadia, warrior Armala Chitali sees it as her chance to escape her clearly defined role and to change her destiny. There's a regular cover, and then there's a regular priced Hero Initiative variant. Walking Dead number 186. We have the regular Charlie Adler cover, then there's the regular priced Bill Sankovic's 15th anniversary Negan variant. Deadpool number 7. Deadpool gets his most difficult mission yet is to take out Santa Claus. We have four different covers for this. There's a regular Nick Klein cover. There's a regular price Fantastic Four Villains variant, regular price Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant, and a regular price Will Sliney variant. I like the regular cover or the Will Sliney variant, just because like I said before, I'm a sucker for Christmas covers, so I'll probably pick those up. Defenders Immortal Hulk number one. Stephen Strange is dead, a charred skeleton in an abandoned barn on the edge of a deserted town. Bruce Banner wants to know why. He won't stop until he has the truth in his hands with or without the Immortal Hulk. Five different covers for this. There's a regular Ron Garney cover. There's a regular price Scotty Young baby variant. There's an incentive Joe Bennett variant. There's an incentive Adi Grenov variant. And an incentive Jack Kirby remastered variant. I, out of all these covers, I like the incentive Adi Grenov. Looks to be a one in 50. That's the one I'd like to pick up. Defenders Namor number one. The Monarch of the Oceans has declared war once more on the surface world, and if this is a war that Namor means to win, he's gonna need allies to stand beside him. There's five different covers for this. There's a regular Ron Garney cover. There's a regular Price Scotty Young baby variant. There's a 1 in 25 instead of Marco Cicchetto variant. A 1 in 50 Chris Stevens variant. And a 1 in 200 Mike Mignola hidden gem variant. Mortal Hulk number 10. Gamma Flight was too late, Shadow Base is infiltrated, Crusher Creel is damned, and the one below all walks upon Earth. There's three different covers. There's a regular Alex Ross cover, regular price Fantastic Four Villains variant, and a regular price M. Hayek Lee Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant. Killmonger number one. This is the story before he became Eric Killmonger when he was a boy that was stolen from his home and taught only the world's cruelties. There's four different covers for this. There's a regular cover. There's an incentive movie variant. There's an incentive Jason Pearson variant and an incentive Larry Stroman variant. I personally like the movie variant, so that's probably the one I'll pick up. Marvel Knights 20th number three. This has three different covers for it. There's a regular Jeff Shaw cover, regular price Carrie Andrews connecting variant, and a one in 25 incentive Jay Lee variant. Merry X-Men holiday special number one. It's gonna have three different covers. There's a regular David Nakayama cover, regular price Ryan Gonzalez cover, and a regular price Fantastic Four Villains variant. Uncanny X-Men number four. This is gonna have five different covers for it. There's a regular Elizabeth Torque cover. There's a regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. There's a regular price Gerardo Zafino Fantastic Four Villains variant. There's a one in 25 incentive in Hack Lee variant. And there's an incentive Mark Brooks hidden gem variant. Both those incentive variants have awesome covers. If I can pick up any of them, I'm definitely gonna be looking for those. Venom number nine is gonna have three different covers this week. There's a regular Ryan Stegman cover. There's a Fantastic Four Villains variant by Bill Sinkovitz. And it looks to be a one in 10 incentive Spider-Verse animation variant. Winter Soldier number one. Bucky Barnes believes in second chances, having escaped death, the loss of identity, and a life of murder, the man known as a Winter Soldier has worked hard to atone for his sins. But now, he's gonna go one step further, and what do you do when you found redemption? You help others do the same. Three different covers for this, is a regular Rob Rice cover. There's an incentive one in 25 Bill Sinkovitz, what I like to call the Steve Tyler Aerosmith variant. 
and a 1 in 50 incentive Butch Geisman. Grim Fairy Tales presents Black Knight number 2. Peyton Parks learns the real reason that the man she's defending turned on his criminal cohorts and just how dangerous his enemies are. There's four different covers for it. There's a regular Igor Vertorino cover, regular price Jason Metcalf variant, regular price Ryan Pasebe variant, but the reason why I even have this in this video, love this artist, does a bunch of different covers for Xenoscope. A lot of people hate on Xenoscope, but that doesn't take away from this guy's art, and I'm talking about cover C, the regular price variant by Josh Burns. This guy, I think he's really undervalued. One of my favorite artists, I definitely pick up his covers whenever I see them. So that's why I have it in this video. That Josh Burns cover to me is gorgeous. So there you have it. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, December 5th, 2018. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel so you never miss a future video. This is Brian with Simple Men's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. I'll catch you guys next week.